Hey there, budding entrepreneurs and business moguls. Question, do you honestly believe that your business can be sustained by using the copycat strategy? Management professor Amar Baid claims 85% of businesses around the world are inspired by ideas formulated by others. In recent times, companies such as Samsung were accused of copying Apple and their iPhone. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> An accusation which resulted in a seven-year court battle, according to TheVerge.com. So today we ask, is there a thin line between imitation and inspiration? In this episode of Balancing the Bars, we delve into the issue of copycat culture. Is imitation the highest form of flattery? Hello and welcome to our safe space on a Sunday evening. That's right, balancing the bars. I'm your co-host, Abina Gomes, and I'm joined by my fellow co-hosts, Jamisia McCallman and Ariane Dahlia Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how are you girls doing? Let, let's oh. start off there. <laughs> my baby has sinuses, <laughs> but she's slain today though. I mean, I'm, this fit. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Gucci nonetheless. <laughs> yes. I'm Lady. <laughs> uh, birthday vibes, because we're all Scorpio. Oh, all right. So yes. Our birthdays are falling like right after each other. Actually, so. Dahlia and I, our birthday the on day. the same day, yeah. October 20th. <laughs> and Abina is on the 2nd of November. Mm -hmm. Scorpio again. I actually remember because I'm <laughs> terrible at birthdays. And how are you? I am doing well, doing well. Can't complain. How was your week? Well, like, what was the highlight of your week? Okay. Um, the highlight of my week would have probably been today. I've been in class and just doing work during mm. the week. So this is like the much needed break for me. Oh, uh, so we will we, we'll light up your week. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> uh, like, the hustle Not giving them the satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> the hustle doesn't stop, though. So I feel you on that, that br the relief, you know. Mm -hmm. How's yeah. your week, Dahlia? It's been busy. Mm -hmm. Like, the business has been thriving, thankfully. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's the supporters, really, that push it. But doing everything yourself, being your own photographer, your own delivery person, <laughs> your own packaging person, your own assistant, it gets, it gets a lot. But I love it. Can't mm -hmm. complain. Mm -hmm. I love that we're talking about, <laughs> like, she spoke about business today because, as you said, we're talking about business. Mm -hmm. And... We're talking about the copycat culture. So is imitation the highest form of flattery? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it in business though? Uh, yeah, to be honest, it is. I feel as though someone had to start the ball rolling mm -hmm. and imitation is often um, misconstrued, especially in our atmosphere. Here's why. Someone can imitate what you're doing, but you add your own flair to it. For example, for example, like we have a lot of similar businesses. Okay, everyone is a makeup artist, or so they say. <laughs> but my style is completely different. For instance, I love skin. I love um, popping eyes or sometimes just everything natural, but the skin must always be natural. And some people just really love... Um, I say plastic surgery makeup. So everybody has their thing. No, but it's true. Everybody does have their thing. So plastic surgery makeup or drag I mean, makeup? Right? <laughs> yeah, drag is different though. Drag is drag can be natural too, mm -hmm. because you want to look as as mo as much as a woman as possible. So why do you guys disagree? Because I feel in the the no, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I think for me, when I hear copycat, is more of you know when you're in a test and you're copy who will say even the person name. No, that's what it feels like to me. So I feel like we need to, everybody would determine or differentiate rather what copycat is in a different way. Mm. Because you may say it's taking someone's style and just making it your own. While I may say it's taking everything about that person mm -hmm. and not embracing your own individuality. So we have to understand what it means in our culture. Yeah. And I feel like... It's an important conversation to be had because as of recent, especially here in Guyana, we've been seeing the battles mm. are going on on social you media. Keep you, you keep me thinking. You keep me thinking. You keep me thinking. You keep me thinking. And I feel like, okay, 
for me is if this business is thriving or this industry is thriving, of course you would expect someone to, okay, let me hop on this train. Mm -hmm. But for me, the copycat is, okay, let, let me go right at it. You're into the skincare industry, right? If you go and steal the person's ingredients, you do your bars just like they do theirs, the packaging just like they do theirs. What do you mean bars? They're so bars. <laughs> so. Oh. Skin care, oh, oh, facial. Bars, bars, yeah. bars, 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 bars. Our mind is on a podcast. <laughs> right? Sorry for so if, if you like steal their design and everything, then that is where the copycat comes in. Mm -hmm. Because like recently we've been seeing things, oh, they even stole my hashtags. Like I mean um, no for the hashtags. <laughs> they're 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 um relevant hashtags that you use mm -hmm. and so no for the hashtags for me it's a no for me <laughs> I, I, don't, I mean I, I don't understand that yeah. but I feel I mean let's get down to it we know when somebody wholesaling mm -hmm. uh, but is there a really an example that we've seen where someone exact has the exact same business as that um, I don't think so I haven't seen it mm -hmm. if I've seen people do exactly like for instance, let me be personal. Let me hit it home. Um, people would literally do something that you've done before, yeah, mm -hmm. um, or wait until you do it to do it. But I say to that, I say, Is so it what? Or it comes from both ends. It comes from just them trying to make a buck off of it, trying to because they see that it's thriving and so they want to do it. And then it comes from someone just saying, hey, you know, where can I find this? I want to put my own twist to it. And I would, I love that. And every single person I reply to that hit, like hits me up with that energy, that um, mutual energy of creation and, and interest. But the whole sailing, I think it's soul draining. Business, business in our society should really be for the people. Mm -hmm. And when you benefit, benefit from it, okay. But it should be for the people. You feel me? Mm. I think I've seen more copycat culture in the music industry than anything else and mm. in fashion so I find that it's easier to identify in the arts because if I created a dress and there's a slit on it and you create a dress with the same style and the same so slit then I, different color. I know you copying me <laughs> so then I, you can actually call out the person and say hey that's my design you're Ooh. stealing it and then you don't give credit <laughs> that's true <laughs> recently there was an issue with um Rihanna and the Fenty show that she did yeah, where I, I think it was um Erica Badu's daughter had said that she copied her stage setup. It was mm. was not the same. It just had the same theme using Elements. plants and mm. stuff. So I feel like we have to be very careful about how we label people as copycats too, because knowledge is out there for everyone to use. And you have to know that as long as you're a part of a space, other people have the same access to the resources that you have access to yeah. and they may want to use those tools as well so not because jane decides she's going to wear a green dress or decides that she wants to sell the same type of lip gloss that you're selling means that she's copying you mm -hmm. and i think that we need to develop a culture in Ghana where we're open to collaboration more than trying to fight each other down yeah. because as Ariane said persons would message her and ask her where did you get this how can I create this box and she's always open to share that knowledge and I feel like that helps all of us thrive in the industry because <laughs> true at the end of the day when the money goes in it's coming back I was we're all benefiting from it so that, I, that view though mm -hmm. continue sorry I cut you no <laughs> so I, my, my thing is I do feel like collaboration is key and two hands Always, always clap always work better and yep. i feel like we all should be working to uplift each other so we got to be very careful of how we label people as copycats I, it comes from a place of insecurity too but gem you were gonna go off go off girl <laughs> <laughs> let them know not really go off but um it's like i'm just i'm just thinking of as you read earlier on that samsung was accused of copying i I f listen, don't feel yourself. Don't, <laughs> no, don't, don't I mean, feel yourself. Don't, uh, 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 Samsung don't, to the world. Don't feel um, no, <laughs> iPhone to the world. Samsung. <laughs> Sam, Sam. I mean, iPhone really? Nah, that's not it. That's not where it's at. Says a girl with an iPhone. <laughs> and the Samsung. So she's a traitor. 
I'm, I, I know best. I've had best. I have both worlds. Not the best of both worlds because iPhone is not the better world. But I've had both worlds. So mm -hmm. Samsung, yes. Okay. But as we're talking about the copycat culture, as I said, but I feel it's important for us to develop an atmosphere of innovation mm -hmm. and not one of imitation. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes a lot of persons are just sitting and waiting they only get ideas when they see someone's have someone else has an idea. I call it like okay, the dog food culture, mm. right? How In does Ga it relate? Listen, in Guyana, right? I remember when I first moved into where I'm living, mm -hmm. and then I saw one person selling dog food on the road corner, and then at the other corner there's a dog food stand, and then there's another dog food stand. So Every single corner you go, there's that happens there, a lot. There, there's a dog, there's dog, <laughs> dog food, and on every level <laughs> right. in business. The only thing yeah. probably different it would be they the coats yeah, and the color yeah. bags that they're in. I like it's your black bag. Man, <laughs> <laughs> the flavor is different. Probably the flavor, but it's like even if you're starting a company and especially to young entrepreneurs, as they said, there's nothing new under the sun. We understand that. But don't go try using your p the same packet someone uses, the same design products. Mm -hmm. As you said, ask where you can get help from and, and then the you help find is ways out there to and innovate. see how you can recreate. Yeah. How you could recreate that thing. It's like the stuff with Rihanna and I think it's Erica Badu's daughter, as you said. Someone, when I read the comments, the comments, people were like, girl, bye. That, we saw that thing in Lion King, <laughs> right? So everybody might be watching the same thing that you're watching and get the inspiration. Is sometimes the quality of the production might just be different. So it's all about how you are able to twist it and turn it as well. But yes, sir, I still believe that you need to go in to tap into your creative juices and see how I could create something that stand out. Not just sit back and wait for someone to do something. And, uh, oh, maybe I should hop on that too. I, ding, ding, I, am, ding, ding, ding. I am not for that. I'm, I'm not for it. Ding, ding, because ding, ding, ding. then sometimes people would say, hmm, I started to don't know she wants to start though. I was, I was a girl like that. That may happen. <laughs> right? Yeah, at least you're being honest. That may happen anyway. But being practical, going back to some real advice because what if the person that's watching this episode right now is guilty of just wholesaling mm. i think there is there is redemption for it and here's why you ever listen people say that drake is a sample boss mm. and it's true he is a sample boss you know why he can listen to a song that probably was published 20 years ago 10 years ago and you know what he's gonna do he's gonna sit down with his team and he's gonna figure out how can i make it relevant to the people who yeah. actually listen to me <laughs> instead of just using almost everything from the song and putting his voice over it. So nothing is wrong with researching and delving for information to make your business better and become a thriving artist. But are you really going to take the time to do it versus looking for a quick fix? And there is no quick fix to business, y'all. I'm a cool. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a quick break. A quick break? Quick fix, <laughs> quick break. <laughs> I see you. And when we come back, it's more balancing the bars. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Balancing the Bar. So, copycat culture. Girls, what I want to know, right? Because it seems to me, it seems as though y'all are all for this copycat culture thing. Y'all trying to find... You're adamant. <laughs> excuses. <laughs> but uh, what I want to know, is there advantages or disadvantages of the copycat culture strategy? Can your business thrive on that? Hmm. Who's taking advantages? I think for me to even, before we look at advantages, uh -huh. we should look at a disadvantage. Okay. Business is something that's forever evolving and things change over time. So the model that you would use five years ago, you're probably not going to be using now. So if you're copying a business, it means that you have to always look at what they're doing mm -hmm. and try to replicate that and it's going to get tiring after a while and, and people, people are going to people notice. are going to get tired of people one and people two yeah <laughs> so i feel like the, <laughs> did you just she did, did you it. just have, she did 
did this. Yo, sister and Shad. No, but <laughs> we have, I think the main disadvantage would be just having to constantly wonder what that company is doing and mm. to just be stuck in that bubble yes. of this is how we're going to always do it. That's not going to work. And mm. they're going to always be a step ahead of you. Always. So it's like you're sitting down waiting for the next step and then it's like, oh, they finally did this. But they're, they're ahead it's of like the game. It's like a game of chess. Yep. Yes. Like by yep. the time you coming up with your queen, they're already like checkmates next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe for real. And that is the biggest disadvantage. That has to be the biggest disadvantage. And I think in business, regardless if it's this buko box company making mad dough, it still has um, a sense of fulfillment mm -hmm. in it, in doing what you're doing and knowing that the person, even if it's the creatives in the middle or the factory workers or the boss itself, they know that there's a vision and they know that there's an energy within that company or that business that you're working towards. And it's the same thing for small businesses. It's your baby, it's your joy. And, and I mean, want me to try looking like nobody else, doing exactly, exactly what somebody else is doing. Um, I think the advantage of it though is what's trending. But look at it, soaps are trending, mm -hmm. but yet you have so many um, different people doing soaps and ultimate image um, her her styling and her aesthetic is completely different from Sash Soaps. And they're both thriving and they're Free doing ad. the same. Free yes. ad. Yes. Take us. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they're doing the same thing, mm -hmm. okay? But they have a different aesthetic, it's a different vibe, and they're both thriving. So I guess it depends on how you do it. It's definitely, it boils down to how are you going to do this thing? Because I don't think that you should be, I don't think you should ever be trying to be like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Period. And <laughs> I, <laughs> she made me do. <laughs> so I, I, I don't see advantages. You don't. In 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 copying, it's you know what happens. It's just an overnight success. I mean, the, it's just the, an, it's just an it's overnight, overnight, it's just an an overnight man. success. I, I feel see. like the only advantage I see is you making money for a defined period of time. Exactly. Overnight. But I want here no. no what <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> five thousand and five million ain't the same. Exactly I my may, point. Hold on, I may make five thousand overnight, but for a defined period of time, I may be able to make five million dollars. While it is an advantage, you still have to adapt and change with the times. Mm -hmm. So, as Ariane said earlier, you have to be able to adapt and you have to make it your own own because at the end of the day what i found in doing digital marketing people buy based on the person that owns it and how much of a human effect you can add to your business because paul doesn't want an automated message paul wants to know that it's a real person behind this product that has a real story to tell and if you're copying somebody else's product you won't have the same energy towards it or the same story to tell First of all, yeah. since you didn't let me finish my point. Energy okay. is And real. I think you finished it for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying the, it's an overnight success, mm -hmm. but the success won't be sustained, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. while the person who invented it or the, the owner of that idea that you're now copying, they have a long-term plan. They have plans, a plan A and a plan B of how to make this work. And that's what we spoke about just now. While you're sitting there waiting for the idea, they're already 10 steps ahead of you. So mm -hmm. you're, you're behind. And it's also not opening a door for you to think, to, to activate the creative juices or that grow. you have. Yeah. So while you, it's like a lot of persons copy what is trending, right? But that's why when we spoke about in the first episode of it, um, ugly truth of entrepreneurship, I mentioned having a business plan. And a lot of people, when you find them copying, there's no business plan. <laughs> there's no business plan, so there is no longevity in that plan. Mm -hmm. The only longevity or the only plan they have is to copy. So while the success might come, it may not be long lived. So, yeah. yeah. That's it right there. <laughs> she that, flips her hair on y'all. I mean, that's it. Yeah. I think that's a hard realization for lots of people because they see business as a quick money, mm -hmm. something to make. But I remember something that a very old, successful Guyanese businesswoman told me. She was like, you know what? When people click Dalila La Artista, they want you. Mm. And so you are the business and the business is you. It can grow. And you don't have to be doing the day-to-day -day anymore. 
but they still want you because it's your energy, your vibe, everything for you. And and that's what business is. It's, it's self-expression, but you make money off of it. Okay. <laughs> So I think that that's a realization a lot of entrepreneurs need they need to own and have. Um, and you can be an introvert and still have the business be you because guess what? It's your ideas, even if someone else is doing the marketing or someone else face on the business. It's your values. It's it's what you believe in. So why not? You know. It's so it's why it's, not do the right thing? <laughs> it's you are the business. There we go. Essentially, you are the business. Your energy is what is fueling that business. And I just want to add in, that is why copyright is out there for copycats. Not, but not in Guyana. The, copycat, the copyright, um, copyright is in Guyana. It just needs to be updated. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's there. It just needs to be updated. And a lot of persons try to get away with the fact that it's not there. It just needs to be updated. Like if you want to write a so book. it's not functional. It needs to be updated because I believe that if you go, okay, let's say a songwriter or something. If you tr somebody steal your idea and you try taking that person to court, you might just get a hundred dollars or something like that. Oh, because in, oh, so it's not functional. All right, good. <laughs> I I really don't want to say not functional. I learned something new right? though. But so you guys should go and check out the um I didn't copyright even know it laws. Was there. It, it needs it needs to be updated. But like for writers and so on, if you want to like write your book, I know at the is it CARICOM that you can go and you can get your IBD and IBN number something like that. Mm -hmm. So. There are things that you can do to protect your property. The more you know. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. there you <laughs> go. I think today's conversation was very insightful. I know you guys learned a lot. I know I learned a lot too. As you go into this new week, take this reminder with you. We should always embrace our individuality. Even though we may look to others for inspiration sometimes, we should always remember that no one not a body <laughs> okay. is you and that is your superpower okay. thank you for watching another episode of balancing the bars where balance brings, brings peace bye-bye bye everybody